All right, guys, it's the uh, finish M39, the Mosin Nagant. Um, in the words of Ian McCullen, the, uh, the finish turned a uh, sow's ear into a silk purse with this rifle, if it can be done. This is actually my first time with a finished Mosin. So I'm gonna give you sort of my first impressions with the first rounds through it. I have two different types of ammo. I have some Czech and I have some uh, Russian ammo. So I'm gonna run the Czech ammo first. That's, that's pretty terrible. So, I'm sure the gun's accurate, but... Damn. You'd think I'd be just shooting a run-of-the-mill garbage rod. I mean, there's no, there's no easy extracting with this thing. Man, it's pretty, this thing's pretty rough to shoot. Um, I'm gonna try some different ammo. I think I have some, some Russian. I'll try running through this now. So that's hard. Wow, that's pretty rough. Okay, that one wasn't too bad feeding wise. Okay. So the Russian ammo seemed to do much better um, extracting out of this. So that's something. It's still, I mean, still hard to feed for whatever reason I was going to hang up that first time. Uh, this is just one of the more rough guns to, uh, to handle. It's just going to take some, you know, muscle in the bolt, muscle in the cartridges down there. It's just not quite as refined as, you know, a, a Swiss rifles like the K31, G11, or Mauser, Enfield. It doesn't have that smooth everything working perfectly together feeling. It's just kind of, it's kind of rough. All right, five more. All right, it was all good that time. All right, so that was, that was better that time. Um, don't know why. It's gonna get warmed up, it's gonna get broken in. I don't know. Cleaning rod's coming out again. It's not screwing in. Finish M39s are amazingly accurate and I think of a fairly reliable bolt actions, but it's a slightly less perfected gun. So, I mean, this gun was sort of designed um, in the you know late 1880s, came out in the early 1890s. And then the fins, they kind of kept working on it. And I mean, if the, if the Finish M39 is the epitome of what a Mosin Nagant can be next to some other crazy models. Now this is the epitome of the Mosin Nagant battle rifle. Um, to me, it still leaves a little bit to be desired. Um, now that's just 
with this particular model, shooting the ammo that I have. So I mean, maybe, maybe your finished Mosin is just beautiful and wonderful and smooth and just works perfectly. Uh, I mean, this gun is a numbers matching gun, and the receiver is a uh, it's an antique receiver. So I feel like this gun would be a little bit maybe more broken in, and the fact that it's numbers matching, it would perform a little better, a little more smooth, but I mean, it did perform pretty well with the Russian ammo. Just, I hate to say that there's better guns out there as far as a smooth, enjoyable, feeding, uh, smooth kind of rifle. Um, it's a great gun, extremely accurate. Just, I don't know, it's just, it needs something. It's lacking just a little bit of something. If you need some uh, stripper clips or a uh, ammo pouch for this, I'll put a link in the description to some that you can get. It's a pretty good price on Amazon. And uh, appreciate you watching.